Greetings, it's Maxo Dizzily here, and today I am going to be showing you how to decrypt an encrypted message using Caesar Cipher. So, in the last tutorial we made an encrypted message, click the eye up in the corner if you want to know more about that, but today we're going to be decrypting this message so we know what it says. Let's get into it! We are going to define a new function, we're going to do def, decrypt, text, comma, shift. So, Caesar Cipher encryption. We have a shift value and then a string we want to shift. And each letter in this message we want to encrypt is shifted X amount of characters down the alphabet. For example, if I have the letter A and we have a shift of 3, that A becomes a D. So when we decrypt, what do you think we do? Well, we get a, we, start, we have a D and we have to then shift it 3 letters up the alphabet back to its original A. And that's what we're going to do on a greater scale with every letter. Let's get into it. So we do def, decrypt, text, and shift because we're defining a function. We're going to call it decrypt. Text is going to be our encrypted message and shift is going to be the shift on how much we shift each letter. Inside we do text equals text dot lower and decrypted text equals nothing. So we convert everything to a lowercase and then we have our decrypted text variable which is empty and it's going to store our decrypted message. Inside we're going to do a for loop and a return statement after. So this is just going to return for decrypted message and this for loop is going to be getting our decrypted message. So it's for char in text, so we're going to loop through every character in this encrypted message and then we're going to check if it's a lowercase letter. So if it's a lowercase letter we're going to treat it like a letter. If it's not we just add it onto our decrypted text because in this all uppercase characters become lower. All numbers and special characters are just left alone. They're just added on to our encrypted message. So they remain untouched. And our lowercase letters are encrypted with Caesar cipher. So if it's not a lowercase letter, we just plonk it on to our decrypted text because it's the original stuff. It hasn't been touched. However, we do decrypted text plus equals chr ord char minus shift minus 97 mod 26 plus 97. Don't worry, I'm going to explain it. This code is used to shift a lowercase letter in the English alphabet by a specified number of positions in the opposite direction using a Caesar cipher. And we're going to then add it to the decrypted text string. The char variable is for lowercase letter that is being shifted and the shift variable is for number of positions that the letter should be shifted in the opposite direction in the alphabet. The code first converts the lowercase letter char into the ASCII value using the ORD function. It then subtracts the shift value and 97 which is the ASCII value of A. This moves the letter shift positions to the left in the alphabet basically moving up, like going D, C, B, A, and so on. The result of this subtraction is then adjusted by the mod of 26 to ensure that the result is always within the range of the English alphabet, basically ensuring the letters always between A and Z. So if we're going up and we go beyond A, we then loop back around to Z and carry on with our shifting. Finally, the result is added to the ASCII value of, of the letter A, which is 97, to obtain the final shifted letter. This shifted letter is converted back to the corresponding character using the chr function and added to the decrypted text string. We're doing the opposite to what we were doing in our previous tutorial. And that's basically it. Also make sure to do return decrypted text after this for loop. After these three lines of code, we're going to do decrypted message equals decrypt, encrypted message and two. Make sure this shift is the same as this one, otherwise you'll get a different result. And then we do print decrypted message because we want to print out the message to see what it is. Let's hit play. So let's look at the original message. Subscribe to Max Diddly for 2069. That goes to this beautiful string of letters. Then it's converted back to subscribe to Max Diddly, which you should do. Full 2069 exclamation marks. The exclamation marks remain untouched. All the uppercase letters are all lowercase because that's what we did for this Caesar cipher algorithm to keep it simple. All the spaces are intact. All the lowercase letters are back to the way they were. So we successfully read the message. That is, you should subscribe. So thanks for being a great audience. Like and comment if you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more Python tutorials. Thanks for watching.